What up, future graduates? Today, let's talk about the graduation requirements for the TEA Distinguished High School Diploma. This video's purpose is to give you a better understanding of the six things that you will need in order to graduate. First, you need 26 credits. Second, you will need to graduate with an endorsement. Third, you must pass five star tests. Fourth, you must complete peace officer training. Fifth, you'll need CPR training. And finally, sixth, you'll have to complete a FAFSA application. Make sure that you consult with your super amazing counselors, admin, dean of instruction, registrar, and graduation coach if you have any questions about your personal graduation plan or your transcript. Okay, so this one is a bit complicated. So in order to graduate with the Distinguished Diploma, you will need to accumulate 26 credits. But it's not just a simple number. You'll need a certain number of credits in certain specific areas. You'll need credits in your core classes. You'll need credits in your electives. So. Let's head on over to the credit matrix to see how this all breaks down. Okay, so what do you need besides a miracle? Credits. Lots of credits. Wow, this is um, considerably less cool than what the Wachowski sisters create. But anyways, let's get to it. So. If we look right here, you'll see we have the credit counter matrix. And what I'm going to do right now is explain how you can accumulate the 26 credits that are necessary for graduation. Each course, provided you go through them in a chronological and sequential order, has both an A section and a B section, giving you 0.5 credits per course per semester. First off, let's take a look at English. You'll need a total of four credits, which means you will need to complete both the A and B sections of EOC English 1, EOC English 2, English 3, and English 4. For mathematics, you will need four credits. For math, you'll need to complete two semesters, again, of each class, and there are three required courses you absolutely have to take. First is Algebra 1, EOC. Second is Geometry. And third is Algebra 2. Further, you need to complete another type of math class that is offered from your school. That's a more advanced course. So, for science, you will need to complete four credits. You will need to complete the A and B section of four separate classes. The first is going to be EOC Biology, your freshman year. Secondly, you have your choice between Chemistry or an Advanced Science class. Third, you will need to pick between Physics or another Advanced Science class. And you will also need to take fourth, one last science class as well. For social studies, the best subject, you will need to complete four credits. First, you'll need to complete the A and B section of geography. Secondly, you'll need to complete the A and B section of world history. Third, you'll need to complete the A and B section of U.S. history. And fourth, you'll need to complete one semester of government and one semester of economics your senior year. Additionally, in order to graduate, you will need to also complete some courses that are not core classes. This means that you will need to complete the following classes. You'll need one credit of PE, 
that's two semesters. You'll need two credits of foreign language. That must be accumulated successively. You'll need one credit for fine arts. You need half a credit for health and you'll need five and a half credits for what your other chosen and desired electives are that you've chosen to take in your personal graduation plan. It's important for me to remind you guys that in order to receive credit in a class, you have to have an average of above a 70%, right? When we compare the A and B semesters, the average has to be above 70% in order to get credit. Additionally, as I've mentioned, right, you need certain core classes, AP classes, advanced academics classes, IB classes, and dual credit classes would obviously count for those classes. In order to get your Distinguished High School Diploma, you will need four credits or eight semesters that meet your specific endorsement. There are five areas of endorsement, and each endorsement has many different types of classes that qualify. In this video, I'm going to provide a link in the description, and that's going to show all the types of courses that meet and match each endorsement category so that you'll have a better understanding of what you can pick for your endorsement. So the five endorsements are first science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Second, business and industry. Third, public service. Fourth is arts and humanities. And fifth is multidisciplinary studies. Usually in high school, you will have selected your endorsement as part of the PGP, the personal graduation plan, paperwork, that most Texas students complete in the ninth grade. The STAR test, our absolute favorite thing in all of public education. <laughs> In order to graduate, you will have to pass five STAR tests. These are called the EOC tests, end of course EOC. Your freshman year, you will take three STAR tests. You will take EOC Biology, Algebra 1, and English 1. Your sophomore year, you'll have one STAR test, and that is going to be EOC English 2. Your junior year, you'll have one star test. That's EOC US history. It's important to note because of Texas education code 28.0258 that you can have an IGC or individual graduation committee meeting. During this meeting, you'll meet with administrators and teachers and go over any star tests that you might have failed prior to graduation that you have not since passed. Therefore, if you've passed at least three STAR tests, you will be able to complete at least two IGC projects to gain credit for two of the STAR tests that you might have failed. You will need three other considerations to graduate. First, you will need to be CPR certified. Secondly, you will need to complete peace officer interaction training. Three, and finally, you'll have to complete one of the three following options related to student financial aid. First option, you complete and submit a free application for federal student aid. That's called FAFSA. Second option, you complete and submit a Texas application for state financial aid. That's called TAFSA. Or third option, you submit a signed opt-out form planning not to submit a FAFSA or TAFSA form. Okay, so this video was everything that you need to know in order to graduate in Texas with a distinguished high school diploma. First, you'll need your 26 credits. Secondly, 
you'll need your endorsement. Third, you need your star tests. Fourth, you need CPR training. Fifth, you need peace officer training. And six, you'll need to complete a financial aid application. Additionally, make sure to reach out to your counselors, dean of instruction, admin, principal, or registrar if you have any questions about your graduation or your PGP plan. So, have an amazing year and stay awesome and keep rocking.